Hello everyone and welcome to this Unreal Engine basic modeling tutorial. This video will showcase how you can use Unreal Engine 4 to create the basic custom modeling objects or custom meshes you might want to use in your level. This video will not go over all of the details of basic modeling, just show you how you can start playing with the same mode and most importantly how you can add this mode to your Unreal Engine. So for starts I'm at my level, I've been using this level for some time now for my previous beginner tutorials where I showcase how you can do some basic architecture, some basic effects in terms of particle emitters, as you can see there's a small fire going here, lovely and also some basic blueprint designs which includes this a movable platform that goes from A to B and back in this tutorial I'm going to create a really simple monument a custom mesh a custom 3D model or object that I'm going to place somewhere around here to do that I'm going to use the modeling modes or the modeling mode and create that shape, multiply it, combine it and then add it to the level. Now often beginners want to try out the most basic modeling. Of course most 3D softwares like Blender have the ability to create 3D models or are even like Blender based on the process of creating 3D models. In the case of Unreal you might have some difficulty finding the same option. If, of course, if you go to modes, you won't find the same possibility at the start. That's why you need to add a couple of plugins that you already have in your set of Unreal data. You just need to add them to your Unreal platform. To do that, you simply go to plugins, search for mesh, and add two elements. They are already enabled at my Unreal, but you'll probably need to add them. First one is Modeling Tools Editor Mode and the second one is Polygon Editing. You can find both by simply searching Mesh and you'll get hits for both of them. You'll add them, Unreal will provide you with that well-known <laughs> warning window saying that the Unreal platform might be unstable with this, these two plugins, you add them nonetheless and risk some loss of data or crashes but that's normal for basically any plugin and you'll need to restart your platform which I already did and the key element right there is going to be here under modes. Normally you would have these but now you have mesh painting and modeling. With mesh painting you will be able to create custom models that I'm going to showcase to you right now. So let's go to the mesh paint window and you'll see a couple of different options, color weights, textures and everything else. But also the modeling window or the modeling mode will provide you with additional options which includes creating primitives, primitive objects. But more importantly, I'm going to go over these in another video you'll get the option of Polygon, start the drawing Polygon tool. I'm going to use it to create my basic shape for the monument and then multiply it, add it and finally blend it together into a kind of unified object. To do that I'm going to go to the baseline of my level which is right here and I'm going to select the polygon mode and it allows you to basically create a 2D image of the shape you want to create. So as you can see I'm drawing it here, it's going to be something like this and like this and I'm going to close the same shape here and that's basically it. I need to extrude it to a particular point but I'm going to do that by moving it to the top of my level so I can actually see it. And here it is. 
as you can see here is my basic model I can now edit it in the select mode by simply rotating it let's put it up so it's level and let's put it to the position I planned it for or the position I want to see it in which is here and of course I can edit and change every other aspect which includes the dimensions I can make it thinner wider and everything else for now I'm going to copy a few of these and I'm going to add them to the same kind of a unified object by simply copy paste and by doing a bit of rotation here we are and finally another one is going to go here I'm going to rotate as well and move it to this position let's say somewhere around here you can move this as well so it's basically a strange shape <laughs> a brutalist form of Christmas tree or something like that we're going to get them closer together and rotate this one a bit more and here you go that's my basic monument basic shape now I'm going to unify it in my world outliner world outliner by adding the other two to the first one and from there on I'm going to group them so I'm going to actually merge them into a single monument mesh and the monument is here from here on I can even copy it add more versions of it to the world which I'm not going to do right now I'm going to instead delete it and add to this shape a texture I'm going to add a marble texture marble rock and the same object although not beautiful is in the scene so let's now check it out the customer shot of course and here it is as you can see it has its texture the mesh is right there of course it's not beautiful <laughs> by, any, by any means but it is there in the same kind of a manner you can use the modeling options the modeling modes mesh painting and modeling to create any other basic 3d model you'd like to have in your level in your scene as you can see it's pretty straightforward it's pretty simple there are a lot more options to be had and to explore here but this would be enough for this first video hopefully you found it useful hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you can apply it in your projects like always a huge thanks if you stuck through till the very end don't forget to leave any comments if you have questions or you simply want to share something with me. Of course, if you like Unreal Engine tutorials and you too are a beginner in the same platform, please consider subscribing to my channel. That's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ivica. Have a great day and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Bye bye.